Hey everyone, Big Paulie back for a brand new video. Um, I've just come up to watch E.T. in IMAX. Yes, we're going to watch the nonce on the big screen. Um, but this is something that's been really bugging me since last night. And I just want to, I need to say it now. I need to say it now while it's fresh in my mind and how I feel about it. It's about she-hulk oh god not that again yes it's about she-hulk attorney at law starring Tas tatiana maslany who is a great actress uh, i loved her in in um orphan black but i want to talk a little bit about she-hulk and how unnecessary a series it is Oh man, that was a load of shit. Oh my god, that was blowing all the fall. That was crap. What the hell was that? What a big pile of poorly poo. Now, I enjoy a lot of the Marvel stuff. As you know, I love the films, even some of the films that people don't like, like Eternals, Black Widow, Captain Marvel. I love them all. Uh, maybe some more than others. When it comes to the actual TV shows, it's been a mixed bag. I really enjoyed uh, WandaVision. I love the comedy in that from the, like, the 50s and the 60s, the sitcom style. <clears throat> Some of the other shows have been hit and miss. Moon Knight. Loki was kind of fun. Um, oh, the Winter Soldier. <sighs> that was okay. I think probably the best series so far it's got to be Hawkeye, uh, which I'll probably watch at Christmas because, you know, it's, it's a Christmas series. But it is exciting to get to know a, a new Marvel TV show, despite its faults. And I was having a little bit of hesitation when it came to She-Hulk. And we came across the first episode and it just didn't ignite anything. It just didn't do anything. I know it's only the first episode and it takes time to establish a series. Then we got to the second episode and I'm thinking, oh, this has got to pick up. And that last night I watched the third episode and I've got to say, it is an expression that I hear quite a lot on the big Paulie page, especially from uh, uh, one individual, you know who you are. I'm sorry, but it's dog shit. It really is. It's a really bad show. <sighs> we don't need another sitcom. It's supposed to be like half hour sitcom. That's another thing. 30 minutes about these episode lengths. That's crap. You're barely getting going in an episode. And all of a sudden it just stops. And it goes nowhere. The story goes nowhere. Character development really hasn't happened. We've had a handful of cameo. Oh, oh, don't get me started on cameo. Yeah, we've had a handful of cameos, including Tim Roth's um, Blonsky. What? When did he become such a wimp? Why is he such a wimp? Uh, yeah, um, that's the other thing, breaking the fourth wall. It, sometimes it works in films and programmes and sometimes it doesn't. You know what works and it doesn't work in She-Hulk. It really doesn't. Take episode three, for instance, where Jennifer turns to the camera and says, don't expect a cameo in every week. This totally unnecessary, absolutely unnecessary I like legal dramas. Don't get me wrong. I like the Ally McBeal, which I think it's trying to be an Ally McBeal. The Practice, all of the other ones that come along. They're, they're really interesting. But Marvel and, and and being a legal... It's not... It's not. This is not what we want. We want exciting, arse-kicking Marvel. That's what we want. Why do you think the cinemas were full up in Infinity War? That's the type of stuff we want. We want big, bold Marvel stuff. Uh, even on a TV budget. I mean, look at The Mandalorian. That is so exciting. 
and you, you, you just can't wait for the next episode of The Mandalorian. Yet here, week in, week out, three weeks in, we're thinking, I'm getting to the, the, the next episode and I'm thinking, there's a new episode of She-Hulk. Oh God, I, better, I suppose I better watch it. And then by the end of it, I wish I hadn't watched it. I don't know what's going on. I really don't know what's going on. I was quick to judge people at the beginning of She-Hulk. You know, a few people were like, oh no, this total crap and it's bullshit. And I was like, well, give it a chance. But I've got to agree with them. It is total dog shit. I don't know what's happening with Marvel these days. Yeah, I know the films haven't been as good as uh, as the previous phases, you know. Black Widow and, and um, Eternals. You know, I like Eternals, but... Shang-Chi and all of the other Marvel films, even th the new Thor, it's, it doesn't have, I like the films, some more than others, but they don't have the grand impact that a lot of the previous phase films have got, even when it comes to like, you know, Iron Man and, and um, Guardians of the Galaxy, I really... I, I, I don't like I don't like what they're doing I don't really don't like what what Marvel and Disney are doing and um, I don't give a shit about get away from all this woke, woke bullshit get away from all this tick box bullshit you don't have to tick a box just because people moan and you don't have to tick a box because you're scared you're going to get slagged off by Twitter or you're going to get a group of people hating on you because, oh, you haven't got this person in a film. Oh, you haven't got this person in a show. Get away from all that bullshit. That's not what it's about. But it's, it's really pissed me off. It's really grinded me up. In fact, it's made me so angry. And I never thought I would be angry at Disney and Marvel. I'm in danger of actually turning green myself here. Yes, and then we'll see some smash. Talking of turning green, two more things before I go in and see E.T. One, I don't like what they've done with the Hulk. Keep Mark Ruffalo and the Hulk separate. You know, we've got the intelligent thinker of Mark Ruffalo... Um, we have the Hulk smash on the other side. That's what it's supposed to be like. I don't like this mingling of the two characters and, and eventually having a intelligent thinking glasses wearing green Hulk. I don't like it. What about that scene in Infinity War? You know, um, we have a Hulk. That was exciting because Hulk was smashing the shit out of Thanos. He did fail, though. <laughs> yes. Uh, so that's that's how I feel about the Hulk at the moment. They're, they're, they're wimping Hulk out for some reason. Uh, the other thing is, uh, let's briefly talk about the CGI. Uh, now, when the trailer first appeared for She-Hulk, I kind of forgave them. You know, it's early, early trailer. You know, they'll fix it. Like they did with Sonic the Hedgehog. You know, they fixed, they fixed the actual look. Um, but I've got to say, in episode three last night, this is entry-level CGI work. It should be way better than this. This is almost verging on the rock in the Mummy Return CGI. It's just so unnatural. Her movements, the way she walks, the expressions on her, on her face, it's so amateurish. We shouldn't be getting this crap looking cgi for a human character what happened to the days of tony stark when he was young oh god what happened to the de-aging and uh, i don't even oh. there's no there's there really isn't any thought in this show Uh, and, and I dread, I, I dread getting to the end of the series, to be perfectly honest. 
Uh, I know I, I know I've got bootlegs. I know I've got Marvel bootlegs in the collection, but if this show goes on the way that it's going, I don't want a bootleg for She-Hulk in my collection. I'm never going to watch it again. If this is what they're going to churn out for the rest of the series, I'm not interested. I'll never watch the show again. I am looking forward to seeing Daredevil, but I, I dread to think what they're going to do with him. Because apparently they're going to make him a little bit more comedic. Yeah, anyway. I'm going to go in and see E.T. in IMAX now. Uh, I just needed to get that out of the way while I was sitting in the car waiting. Because it's bugged me all night. It's bugged me this morning. And it's bugged me coming up on the motorway. So anyway, at least I can go in there relaxed now. I've just got all of that off my chest. Ah, so tell me what you think of She-Hulk in the comments below. Tell me your true thoughts. If you really hate it and you really despise it, stick it down there. Tell me what you hate about it. Or if you really love it, tell me what you love about it. Yeah, anyway, um, for me, She-Hulk attorney at law is a big pile of poorly poo. That's all I can say. But uh, I'm off in there to see E.T. now. It's about time we saw nonce on the big screen again. And I'll see you on the next video very soon. Bye-bye.